Hello, I'm Deborah from We Are The Tonic. If you have a film in pre-production or production, there are five key things you should be doing right now to ensure your film's success further down the line in distribution. And the first one of those things is quite simply to define the audience and positioning for your film. And these could change once the film's been made, but it's really key that you get these down in detail and in writing now. Without this clear definition, any marketing, publicity or social media that you're doing now or any assets that you're creating may fall short of the mark and not connect with the audiences for your film. And the next thing I can harp on about for hours, but I'll try not to. And the reason I feel so strongly about it is because I've worked on many films where the filmmaker has overlooked this key part and we've been unable to represent their film in the best way possible. And this is the on-set photographer. Please, please don't scrimp on this area. Have a good photographer that produces high resolution, good quality stills of your film and brief them to think about the cinema poster, the DVD sleeve, the VOD artwork, um, advertising in print magazines and newspapers, um, publicity stills. Think of those things and how the film's positioning will come across through the photography and have them take really clear, strong images of the cast in character, looking at the camera, connecting with the audience through the poster or the ads, or looking at each other in character, connecting that way and recreating some of the key moments of the film. It will save valuable time, effort and money further down the line and will ensure that your film is presented brilliantly to its audiences when it's time for distribution. The next thing, just as importantly, is an on-set publicist. And again, it's something that's often overlooked in production or just not seen as important. But the right publicist will have really key contacts with the press and can make them aware that your film's coming out and get you that valuable coverage, those first mentions of your film, which are the key steps in building the audience for your film. So have them on board maybe in um, the first few days of production to do a start of shoot release and get a key image out there, maybe some set visits, some interviews with the cast and crew that can be held back for key moments um, during the release. It'll be worth its weight in gold, I promise you. Next thing is creating assets. And it's really important that you do these now in production while you have access to your cast and crew before they go off and, and do other projects. And while you have access to the set and the costumes. And these are important things because it costs a lot to recreate these after the film's been made and get access to talent if they're, they're working on other projects. So again, look back at your positioning and your audience and create assets that are right for them. Be they interviews, featurettes, behind the scenes, um, the fun stuff. And make sure they're right for the audience for your film. If you have really great assets, this is going to stand you in good stead for the best marketing and publicity and social media and you'll have great DVD extras and VOD value added material as well when it comes to those stages. So really important to think about those things now. And last up is something again that's thought about in production but that doesn't translate over into distribution. And that's if you're making any agreements or partnerships with brands that are appearing in your film, see if you can cross these over and extend these relationships into the distribution of the film. Having brand allies and support in the marketing of your film 
is really a key way of getting access to a wider audience through their following and their consumers. And we've had some really great marketing activity come out of brand partnerships and third party relationships. So something you could be thinking about now that's going to benefit your film in the later stages. So that's it, the five key things you should be thinking about now. And it's all about thinking what you could be doing now that's going to benefit your film in distribution. And I talk about all of these things in a lot more detail, along with a whole host of other ways you can improve your film's chances of success in distribution. And that's in my new program, Get Seen, how to get your film seen when you don't have a blockbuster budget. And you can sign up for more information at wearethetonic.co.uk forward slash get seen. I'll see you over there.